what is going on guys my name is Avi and today I'm gonna show you um, how you can repair um, a gauge a common gauge uh, cluster uh, issue uh, so this is a 2006 uh, Toyota Tundra this is actually my dad's uh, work truck and he's having a problem where um, I don't know if you can see it there but the gauges on the cluster they went all the way down that means they're not returning to the uh, to the original position on the zero for the speedometer and then um, on the temperature uh, gauge is not returning to the code um, meaning that it's not giving the accurate readings and today I'm gonna show you um, how you can repair this it's a uh, an easy fix and it shouldn't take you more than an hour to complete so all you gotta do is right now is you gotta remove these two bolts I already want to remove them um, these two bolts with a Phillips screwdriver and there we go that's the two bolts two of them make sure you put it on the safe position that way you don't lose them and then we're gonna go all the way down here to the panel under the steering column so that panel has to come out too there's one two three and four uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolts so once you uh, remove those bolts just put them on a safe um, place I already removed them like I said just to make it easier all you gotta do is now pull this um, piece this trim pull it from the top and then we're gonna do the same thing on this side here there you go that comes down you can leave it hanging there you can leave it hanging there uh, I'm sorry I'm holding my phone at the same time I'm working so now now that you have removed these two bolts you can pull this from the bottom easy with these parts because they're plastic and they might uh, break I'm sorry about that all right and now we use a flathead screwdriver to pull it from the top then okay so now we have to use the key on the car to be able to move the the shifter the way it allows us uh, to take this out okay move it there and then you can take out this all right all right, mm -hmm. all right. put that to the side mm -hmm. and now you can put the shifter back to the position and shut the key off all right so now that we have removed all these panels here on top um, we can make our way to remove this glass we have to remove the glass uh, now you have the option to remove the whole uh, closer but in my case it's easier to just remove the glass here and then uh, just do the the gauges put the gauges back on the position so to make it easier for the video I also uh, already unclipped this so all you gotta do is with your kind of uh, with your nail or your finger just kind of press on it press down and then at the same time you gotta put it up um, so there's one two it's about five of them five of them clips here all around it so now that I have already removed this you can pull the glass and it comes out with the whole um, thing here let me see all right all right that comes out all right easy put it to the side and we have uncover the whole gauges now all we gotta do is uh, just simple just put it back to the position so this one goes back to the zero I think it's a little bit below the zero position it's a little bit all right so it was fine about there um, keep in mind this uh, gauges they're always not uh, they will not always be correct they might be off by you know a little a fraction of the accurate readings but you know I'm gonna try my best to just put it on the position now this uh, is the temperature gauge okay so about there uh, it looks a little bit let me put it back okay so it looks like it's about there and then we're gonna do this one now the gas one 
This is very important because you don't want to um, run out of gas for having an inaccurate um, gauge. All right, so that's that looks about good right now. All right, so now we're gonna put the key on the ignition here to test everything out. Uh, as you can see, the temperature came out to the correct uh, position since the car was uh, running an hour ago and it was still hot. Uh, gas, uh, the fuel level, it looks about correct there. And of course, the uh, speedometer, it was not working because the cars are not running right now. But um, that's pretty much all. Should be fine now. Let's uh, shut it off here and let's see if we return back to the position. There we go. It returned back to the position we left it. So now all we gotta do is uh, just put the, the panels back. I'm gonna put the panel back here. Uh, from this point on, it's pretty straightforward how we took it out. And this panel, is, uh, this glass um, cluster is, is damaged. Um, I don't know how it happened, but um, I've had problems trying to find one. Um, they're pretty expensive and I'm, I don't think they make it no more for these trucks. So I'm gonna have to end up buying a, a whole cluster and then just using the, the glass from that cluster to put it on this one. Um, all right, put everything back here. All right, good. And then we put this one back. Of course, we have to put the um, the shifter all the way to the bottom. Oh, started the truck. All right. so I guess it goes first it goes from the top this is pretty hard to do it with only one hand all right, all right. and that goes on the position and yeah that's pretty much all put this shifter back here and Okay, it's about good. Um, so for the other part, is straightforward. You just pop it back here and put the bolts back. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please make sure you leave me um, a like and subscribe for future videos. All right, see you guys in the next one.